During silicon oil removal, I plan to remove this subfovial PFCL bubble. After uh, the silicon has been removed, uh, I started uh, with injection of BSS uh, under the macula. I'm doing this slowly and uh, in multiple sites uh, to avoid inducing a macular hole because the roof of uh, this uh, bubble is very thin here I'm injecting under the superior macula and I notice here that the uh, subretinal PFCL bubble is dislodging a little temporally so I decided to inject more hoping for total displacement of this subretinal PFCL bubble And here we go, the uh, bubble is away from the uh, fovea and is moving freely uh, under the uh, retina. Now I'm trying to aspirate this uh, bubble by piercing the retina just above this uh, bubble but with no luck and after multiple attempts I couldn't uh, remove this bubble so I decided to inject more BSS under the retina to get better space and then uh, enlarge the retinotomy by manipulating its edges with the uh, 38 gauge cannula so I can uh, aspirate uh, the uh, PFCL bubble we notice here that there is two small air bubbles just inferior to the fovea and they are uh, opposite in location to the uh, PFCL bubble uh, and they move uh, according to uh, how I tilt the eye. And it took a long time till I get this PFCL bubble right under the retinotomy that I am able to aspirate it using this 38 gauge cannula and at the end partial air fluid exchange with one day face down positioning and uh, here is her OCT four days after the surgery there is no remnant of PFCL and the macula is totally flat thank you for watching